Está allá, que es el libro Ajá. de la ley. Hay que sacar el libro. Si alguien va a pararse en la calle a predicarle a la gente, tiene que sacar el libro de la ley y leer de ese libro. Si no, esa persona te está mintiendo. A ver, no, hermana. Porque hay mucha gente que predica, pero habla mucho sus propias palabras y la vida dice que no hagas eso. happen to the wicked. He's talking about this kingdom right here. He's talking about America. He's talking about us that have faith in the more in the most high son Yahweh Shai. And we keep the commandments of Yahweh. That's right. We are the ones that are going to see the destruction of the wicked with our own eyes. He's saying this destruction, this error, this bomb that can kill 11,000 people in one shot. It's not gonna come near you. We are, this is the deliverance that the Bible is speaking of. This is the deliverance that the children of God are gonna get when Christ sent himself back in the clouds. When he says that we're gonna meet him in the clouds, he's talking about us, the real believers, being delivered away and not tasting the second death that's coming by fire to all you wicked. All you so-called white men and all these other nations that are not Israel, it's all you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they ain't repentant. You're gonna kiss that fire too. We just read that when you worship it in the freedom of, of heaven. We can go to Isaiah 66 and read about you getting that judgment for refusing to eat it. And he's talking about the same thing. Right on, right on, right on. All right, let me go to, uh, let's see. Let's go to, let's go to, let me see, which one do I want? Let's go to Zechariah 14 and 12 first. Then we're going to jump to the New Testament. Like the Ryan 14 12. That's going to give you details on how it is that those 11,000 people are going to put a lot in front of you. But yet, that destruction is not going to come near you. What is it talking about? It's talking about the kind of destruction that came from Hiroshima in Nagasaki. The both sides allowed the white men to destroy the, 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 them uh, heathens with those bombs to show something. You people were learning what this function was going to come. Read. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And this shall be the plan wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. This is the plan that the most high God is going to say against all those that fought against Jerusalem. This is talking about the children of God. Remember, it says, he that touches you, touches the apple of my eye. God has got a recompense for this place. But every one of you that is still together with your enemy, every one of you that is still in the mindset of America, you're going to get some fire too. All right. What? Their flesh, Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. Uh -huh. Their flesh shall be consumed away while they stand upon their feet. So this weapon, this bomb, this plague that, that is described in the Bible, he says that this plague is going to make their flesh melt while they're still standing. What is that talking about? He's talking about nuclear weapons. This is the only kind of weapon that does this, people. What? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, uh -huh. and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, uh -huh. yeah. and their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. This is what's going to happen. What makes that happen? For somebody to literally have their flesh melt. This is the, this is the thing. This was written thousands of years ago. You got to understand this. So-called blacks, so-called Hispanic and Latino, you so-called Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. You got to understand, this thing that we're reading here was written thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago. When Zechariah wrote his words, 
and he's describing an event that the only thing that you can that you can compare it to is the dropping of a nuclear bomb. Why? Because it's been recorded. Now, now it's not fantasy anymore. Now the Bible is starting to make sense. Now we read that the, in the Bible that the Most High created the person that creates weapons. He gives them, gives them inspiration to do it. He gave them the inspiration to create the waster. And the waster that we read in Psalms 91 says that this waster that the Smith created can kill 11,000 people in one shot. This ain't talking about ancient weapons. And these men were using words to try to describe something that they had no clue on how to describe except the way that they wrote it down. But today we're giving you the understanding. Because now we know. Now we can go back and we can watch film of it now. We can watch film on how a nuclear bomb can melt away your flesh and make your eyes and your tongue melt in your mouth and in the holes of your head. Read that again. Read about, about, about the flesh and the, and the suit. The book of Zechariah, chapter 14, and verse 12. Uh -huh. And this shall be the plague wherewith uh -huh. the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. What's going to be the plague? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Uh -huh. and? and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And uh -huh. their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. What plague is this? Una bomba nuclear, hermano. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about a nuclear bomb. We know now that this, this is something that can happen. And guess what? It's written that it's going to happen. Give me Revelation 18 of 4. Revelation. Revelation 13 and 4. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, uh -huh. that ye be not partakers of her sins, uh -huh. and that ye receive not of her plagues. Uh -huh. Today it is. This is the last book of the Bible. Talking about those that were going to be in the great city, Mystery Babylon. I'm here to let you know America's mystery Babylon. That's right. And the Most High say to his people, come out of her and don't partake of her sin. Meaning, you got to come out of homosexuality. You got to come out of celebrating Easter, celebrating La Pascua. You got to come out of celebrating Christmas. None of that stuff is in the Bible. Well, at least the Bible tells you not to deal with that thing. Because Christmas and Easter, they are in the Bible. And the Most High said, don't do it. So he said to his people, don't partake of their sins so that you don't partake of her plague. That's right. Of her plague. Matter of fact, let's keep reading a little bit of that one. Keep reading with that. So he's talking about the great city Babylon. Tell his people do not participate of their sins so that you don't partake of her plagues. We can read what the plague is. And we're going to read some more on it. So let's, read, let's keep reading there in Revelation. Read it out! The book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquity. God is remembering the iniquities of America. The sins of his people that are here that refuse to repent in the sins of the United States of America against his people. They're reaching up to heaven because now you got real people, real men of God, and real women of God waking up to pray for the judgment of God to come upon the earth. This is what's getting ready to happen. You got something there, Judah? You take that all after this if you want. Revelations chapter 18 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Uh -huh. And double unto her, double according to her works, uh -huh. in the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. Filled to her. This is talking about America. Give her double the destruction. That's right. Give her double for what she did. God is not lying. He ain't playing. 
he ain't played. I think it, it says something about her getting burned up in there too, right? Down in, in one of the verses that was down on the knee. All right. All right, keep, so keep reading where you at. Verse 7. Uh -huh. How much she has glorified herself uh -huh. and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow in her. So America, America goes around. The American men, the right men especially, goes around talking about this is the greatest country that ever existed. America is the greatest country ever. This is the pride of the American. This is what he's talking about here. That they delighted themselves. They delighted themselves in what they achieved. What did they achieve? The destruction of you. So right. black Latinos and Hispanics, and Native Americans, they delighted in your destruction. That's right. And they think nothing's ever gonna happen to them. They think America's never gonna pay. So he's saying how much has she delighted herself and what's what her judgment is gonna be. For she saith in her heart, uh -huh. I sent a queen uh -huh. and am no widow. So she says, I sent a queen, talking to her as a nation. America thinks she's sending us a queen, and nobody's gonna destroy her like she's been doing other people. Read. And shall see no sorrow. Uh -huh. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, uh -huh. death and mourning. So the, the plague that's coming on America is going to come in one day. Why is he saying that? Why? Because there's another prophecy where the Most High tells all the enemies of America, he's going to tell them, let all your arrows go. Let all your arrows go. Talking about the arrows and the weapons that we've been talking about. The nuclear bomb. When the, the Russian is going to beat the American to it. Believe it. He's gonna believe. He's gonna feed him to it. And when they do, his allies, along with him, are gonna drop all their bombs here in America. And America's gonna become that lake of fire that the Bible speaks of. That's right. He ain't talking about no place underneath the earth. The lake of fire is America. This place is gonna be destroyed and remembered forever That's after right. God destroys it. Read. Book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, right. death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned. And she shall be what? And she shall be utterly burned with fire. Uh -huh. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. The most God, the most God, the most high God, Yahweh is powerful and he declared this from the beginning we've been reading several prophecies brothers and sisters that give you the order in the way that this is going to happen he created that white man to create that that that, that nuclear weapon he allowed america to put out uh to put out a judgment against himself he did he declared that give it a moment bro. This is the book of Second Peter, verse three uh -huh. and verse twelve. Okay. Looking forward to hasty unto the coming of the day of God. So looking for the hasty. This is Peter now. Peter's about to speak about the same, about the future judgment, about the ultimate judgment and the ultimate salvation and deliverance of the sons of God and the daughters of God from the hands of their enemies. See that? The book of 2 Peter, verses 3, verse 12. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be with the heavens what? The heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So what is gonna do that, brothers and sisters? What the hell is Peter talking about 2,000 years ago? 
2,000 years ago, Peter is talking about the day of the Lord. There's going to be such heat and fire that the elements are going to melt. What is that talking about, brothers and sisters? That's talking about the kind of nuclear weapons that exist today. It's talking about the Satan, the weapon, the missile that the, that the Russians say that is capable of destroying one of them. Only one of these bombs is capable of destroying the whole state of Texas. That the weapons that they have now, don't come, the weapons that they brought from Hiroshima in Nagasaki don't compare to what they got now. That's why he's talking about this kind of heat that's going to melt the elements, right? That was it? That was it? Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Our God shall come uh -huh. and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, uh -huh. and it shall be very temperate round about him. Uh -huh. God is coming with fire. What is that fire that the most high God is coming with? And he's talking about it when he's saying his son too. His son is coming with fire. He's going to say his son to bring his judgment. But he's also going to use the Russian, the, uh, the, the, the Chinese, the North Korean. The Iranians, all the allies of Russia, the Bible says the Most High is going to send them and use them to destroy America. This is written. This is written. And look, it's happening right before your eyes. You can't be asleep no more, man. It's high time to wake up out of sleep. You got it? What is it? We'll say. That's the right. That's the word, Galatians 6 and 8, right? Yeah, 6 verse 8. Yeah. But look, America got nuclear bombs on, on, two, on, on two places in Japan. And America has stopped because this happened almost 100 years ago. They think they got away with it. They believe they never going to pay for that. That's what America believes. They never going to pay for that. But guess what? God don't forget that's right. God don't forget. He that said that lives by the sword must die by the sword. In America, in the modern day sword is these guns and these bombs. It's a fact. And they're going to pay for doing that thing. They're going to pay for doing that. As a matter of fact, when you read that, Japan was trying to reach America and surrender. Two weeks before they drop those bombs, those bombs. This is a fact. In America, still drop those bombs, and I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you why. Because America is a satanic kingdom. This is the kingdom of Satan that stands right here before you. That's right. This is why America is the most wickedest place that has ever been on this planet, even beyond the ancient, uh, the ancient kingdom. They don't want to do. Read that. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, and verse 7 and 8. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. God is not, God is not God. So first, these probably say, don't be deceived. Don't be fooled. You cannot mock God. Now, watch what he says. Whatsoever a man sow, uh -huh. that shall he also reap. But for he that sow to his flesh uh -huh. shall of the flesh reap corruption. So he's gonna he's gonna reap what he sowed. The white man is gonna reap death. That's right. Destruction. In America, the country that dropped that actually went forward and dropped nuclear bombs on human beings. Burning people up are people that was already beaten down. They still drop the bombs on them. Why? Because that's the damn devil. That's why I speak so. They did it to solidify their, their place as the ruling power.
They did it. To solidify their place on the planet as the top country. After that happened, the whole world submitted to America as the number one superpower in the world. After they committed that atrocity of what they did. And it's going to be, there's going to be famine, there's going to be all kinds of chaos happening, and in the midst of that chaos, there's going to be fire that's going to burn and purify this place, because there's no other way, there's no other way to cleanse this place. The blood of the white man got to be shed. They got to pay for what they did. That's right! Now watch what it says about that nuclear bomb, Revelation. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 6, and verse 14. Uh -huh. And the heavens departed as a scroll. This is a prophecy he's talking about that day of judgment. He said that the heavens departed as a scroll. What is that talking about? The way the prophet is describing the bomb that's broken as a scroll is because he got no other way to describe it. He looks like a roll. mushroom cloud, which is so famous. People make cartoons and put that mushroom cloud on all kinds of stuff. Why? Because he left the mark on the planet Earth. The creation and the dropping of those nuclear bombs by America left a mark in history, which was prophesied to come in the Bible. Read that from the top again. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 6, and verse 14. Uh -huh. And the heaven departed as a scroll, uh -huh. with it it is rolled together. Uh -huh. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Uh -huh. So he's talking about that great destruction. He said, it departed as a roll when it's parted. This is the way that the prophet uh, John can describe a nuclear bomb. He had no other way to describe it. He said, he looked, the mushroom cloud looked like a roll when he was being offered. One of them ancient rolls, if you can picture it. This is the ball. Read. Right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, uh -huh. and verse 4. And all the hosts of heaven uh -huh. shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, uh -huh. and all their hosts shall fall down, uh -huh. as a leaf falleth off dry, and as a falling fig. From the fig tree. This is the kind of destruction that's coming to America. That's right. This is the kind of destruction that's coming to America. He said the heavens are going to depart like it's cold. And they're going to fall off like leaves falling off of the, of the tree. This is the dead that thousand that you left and the dead thousand that you're right now. The destruction that's coming to America is going to be total. This is the deliverance. Of Israel out of the hands of the Babylonians, modern day, modern day Babylon. This is Babylon, this is America, and this is the future of America. This is the future of America. Is that all that? Give me, give me Isaiah 47. Isaiah 47. Let's start. Let me see. What verse? What verse you got marked there? Verse 2? It's all verse 2. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, and verse 2. Uh -huh. Take the millstone uh -huh. and grind mill. Uh -huh. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the legs. Uh -huh. Uncover the thighs. Pass over the river. So what is this talking about? He's talking to his kingdom. He's saying, uncover the legs. 
back in the day didn't be afraid. He's saying, I'm the governor of shame. Right now, the right man in America is being exposed for who he really is. That's right. Nobody believes America anymore. The Russians are saying, you hypocrite. Who are you to tell me that I can't do to Ukraine what you've done after you've done what you did to the Native Americans? This is Russia speaking to America. Who are you to tell me what to do when you did what you did to the black man and you continue to do so? America is being exposed for the hypocrite that it is. That's for right. The murderer that it is. Millions upon millions upon millions upon millions. This is America. So I say, uncover this person, uncover this woman. This is talking about the daughter of Babylon. Read. Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Uh -huh. Ye shall ye thy shame shall be seen. Uh -huh. I will take vengeance. Uh -huh. And I will not beat thee as a man. So this is Christ speaking. <laughs> right? This is actually Christ speaking to the prophet. He say, after you get uncovered, your skull's gonna get pulled up. And when you get exposed, I'm going to come and Christ is saying, at that time, I'm not going to meet you as a man. Christ is not coming back like he did the first time. He's not coming, he's not coming back as a humble servant. He's not coming back to get kisses and hugs. He's coming back to destroy and to kill. That's right. And this is a prophecy about Christ talking to the kingdom that is going to be ruling in the end time, a kingdom that's destined to be destroyed by fire. And we've been reading about what kind of fire it is. And he said, I'm not going to meet you as a man. Hey, does it say Daughter of Babylon sit on the dust in the beginning? Is that what it says? Yeah. Yeah, read that for the read, read number one. Not like that. Tell America to come sit in the dust. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 7. 47, Isaiah 47 and verse 1. Let's see who he's talking to. Let's see who Isaiah is talking to in the spirit here. Let's read. Come down and sit in the dust. Uh -huh. O virgin daughter of Babylon, uh -huh. sit on the ground. Uh -huh. There is no throne. Uh -huh. O daughter of the Chaldeans, uh -huh. for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. This is the future of America. Here to the spirit, we say, come sit in the dust. Me, what is that talking about? American status in the world is about to be taken down. Right now, it's already starting to happen. American status in the world is not what it used to be. Nobody's believing this damn place anymore. Nobody's believing this information. Everybody sees America for what it is now. And what does this mean? We're getting closer to that man that say he's not coming back as a man, but he's coming back as a god, as a king, to bring right. judgment on this earth. That's right. We're talking about the black Messiah, Jesus Christ, who in the Hebrew, his name is Yahawasha. We ain't coming back to play games. So he's saying to the virgin daughter of Babylon, the virgin daughter of Babylon, come sit in the floor. Let's see who this, who this daughter of Babylon is. Before that, read me words. We said the burger was fire. Over here, someone. See it there? I heard this talk about the fire, because I know it says burger too. See it? Go, keep going through. Let me see if I can find it. It's right there in the same chapter. It talks about her. Well, well. Remember, the first you thought of Babylon, we're going to find out who that is. But first, let's see what some of that transfer is, because he's talking about the same thing. The first time he's declaring the scourge of my fire to America, all throughout the Bible. It all throughout the Bible. You see it?
Uh, let's drop that. Let's drop that and go, and go to uh, yeah. you got one more. No. No, I, th I thought it was right there in the chapter 47, but that's all right. Let's go, let's go to uh, Psalm 137. You know. He's the daughter of the daughter of the saint. Come to the night. All versus daughter of Babylon. This is not talking about the ancient Babylon. We're talking about today. That's what this is talking about. I'm going to talk to the brother. The brother's right there. This is talking about today. This is talking about modern day Babylon, which in the book of Revelation, it calls it mystery Babylon. Go to uh, Psalms 137 and read verse. Verse 7. For the Psalm 137 and verse 7. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. So now the Bible says, Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. Now it's going to tell you who Edom is. Edom is Esau. These are the descendants of the so called white men. And we can prove that pretty easily through the Bible. So he's talking about the Edom and he's saying, Remember, Lord, the children of Edom that did what? In the day of Jerusalem, uh -huh. who said, "Raise it, raise it, uh -huh. even to the foundation thereof." Right, O daughter of Babylon, uh -huh. who are to be destroyed? Shalom, hermanos. Nosotros somos los hijos de Israel, y nuestra misión es darle las buenas nuevas a los tal llamados hispanos, latinos, indios nativos y al tal llamado hombre negro aquí en Norteamérica. Y la buena noticia es que ustedes son los verdaderos hijos de Israel, de acuerdo principalmente a la palabra de Dios y las profecías que se encuentran en la palabra. Por favor, si te gusta el contenido, suscríbete, comparte y comenta. Toda la información de contacto va a estar en la descripción abajo. Shalom.